Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Cincy Frogger here. We're back with another episode of Vanilla Minecraft. And we are in the nether for this today's episode. And on my way looking for the nether fortress, I found these. Just part of the new update. I don't really know what they do. I don't know if they hurt me. I can break them pretty easily. <laughs> these break are real easy. I like them. They look really cool. Okay, yeah, they do, they do kind of hurt. They give you a little bit of damage, tick. But I like them. I want to mine them all up. I feel like this is going to be a long process. Oops. Do, do, do. They also provide a little bit of light, which is really interesting. That's not terrifying at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is a lot. And back with the creepy noises. Like I've stated before, these creepy noises aren't terrifying at all. Just completely normal. These are the noises that my bedroom makes sometimes when I'm just relaxed and trying to fall asleep. And I totally don't get nightmares from this. Oh, my Kiki wants to talk. She wants to be in the video. Okay, I just want to fall in the hole. Dude, there's so much of this stuff. My OCD just wants me to grab it all, but my mind is telling me no. Well, my mind's telling me yes. Everything else is telling me no. Please stop. No, please stop. Please stop. Okay, I'm done. No, okay. Just close your eyes and it'll be fine. Think I got enough? Oh, my eyes hurt now. Okay, after I fill up this stack, that'll be a nice stopping point. Ooh. Do -do -do. Just when I thought I was done. Okay. These blocks look very vibrant now. Like, I can, like, visibly see the different shades of red. Well, most of them. And that's saying a lot. Especially if you're colorblind. They are very vibrant. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna go find that fortress. Okay, I finally found one. It took a long time. <sighs> finally found one. So, let's explore. I'm looking for Wither Hilton. Wither Hilton. Wither Skeletons. So they can give me their heads. Oh my gosh, just skin. Okay. 
Okay. What's in this chest? Is that it? That that that's it? Wow, that's it's real sad. Okay. What's in this chest? I got a saddle and that and that and there's a there's a scary thing. Oh, I don't like it's crying. This way. This is a really big one. <clears throat> okay, what's in here? Got some obsidian. Oh, we got some diamond horse armor and some gold horse armor. I'm not going down there. Okay. Did I just spell that? I just text my friend. Okay. Okay. There's things everywhere. No? I don't know if I want to go over there yet. I hear them. Okay, not over here. Ugh. Shot. I just ruined my chances of getting his goal. I could have gotten his goal off of that. Oh, that's just a hole. That's upsetting. Oh, dude. You scared me. Did I get his goal? No. Here, let me go like this. That'll last me eight minutes. So. Let's go this way. So for my AP class that I had, we had to do a debate, as you guys well know. My friend won, she's in round three now, I'm very proud of her. She's not one for debating. I don't even know who her person is, so. And we got a lag. Yay. I totally don't have anything else to do, like saying I'll study for finals. Just saying. No one ever said I made wise decisions. I got should be studying finals. I have my ma I had my language arts final today, so it was it wasn't that bad. The last question we had to discuss whether or not well, who we perceived as to be the quote unquote mockingbird and to kill a mockingbird. I thought the question was hard at first until I like sat down and thought about it for a little bit and I'm like, Oh that's easy. 
so. Hope I did good on that. Hey, Fluffy. Come here. You want to be in the video? Oh, come here. No! My cat doesn't love me. She doesn't want to be in the video. You make me sad. I see you sitting over there staring at me. I cry every time. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow's my math final. I'll be okay with that one. It's only like 25 questions. Then after that I have my Spanish. And then after that I have... That's for Spanish. Uh, chemistry. My friend might win the entire debate. I'm really proud of her. She's not one for talking. <coughs> Who is her person? I think I asked her this before, but I just don't know. Um. Here, let's have Siri speak the person's name. Siri was not having none of that. Siri's not having any of this. Here, let me turn my volume. Mikhail Gorbachev. Yeah. Him. Mikhail Gorbachev. No idea who that is. Well, whoever it is, she's winning with him. He is a former, oh, Communist Party of the Soviet Union, he's a statesman, meh, that's good for her, I could have won. Tell someone had to bring up the fact that Constantine killed his wife and son. Yeah. I was also noticing a pattern in my class. That if you won the first round of debates, you would automatically lose the second round. I'll draw you guys a picture. So we were all given numbers. It was like one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> so say for example, person number lost, and then person number two would def would go against person number three. Person number two would lost, so person number two would have one win and one lose. It'll be like that for every single one. And, and, except for one. There's only one case scenario when someone won twice in a row. So, so, st so statistically, the person who sat out first round has a better advantage because after that, because there was only two rounds of, it was round one, then round two, and then when they went against round three, we, they would go against each other and two of the winners from round two would go against each other. So... Pretty much, if you were in round two, you were going to be in round three. Okay. 
I'm asking my I'm asking my friend this. I'm asking her if she sat out first round, because she's already on stage three. So I'm curious, is if she went sat out the first round, because that would put her in the same boat as everyone else. Like the person that I lost against was Isaac Newton, which personally was not a significant historical figure. He won, and not because of what he said about my me killing my parents, and it could have been that. Well, not my parents, my uh, my family, and it could have been that. But statistically, people who sit out first round have a better chance of winning. Oh, we're back. My debate lesson is over. We are back to the game. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. We're we going back to. Speaking of debates, maybe, okay, looks like we're back. Oh, no, she did not. So that means she's the 1% that won two rounds in a row. That is baffling. Especially considering my friend, she's terrible at speaking. But then again, so am I. But no one would ever tell, especially with this. My teacher was very impressed with my speaking. Because I don't talk a lot during school. Because I prefer to value my voice and value my words. And plus, I don't like to talk to anybody, so... I don't like any of these people. <laughs> so I just don't talk to them. That's my life motto. If you don't like anyone in your class, just don't talk to them. I mean, really. No one's forcing you to talk to them. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get away from him real quick. I just wanna... Well, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Take care. See you soon for tomorrow's episode. Bye!